The question that we often get is why does my scale sometimes print a barcode and sometimes it doesn't? Um, so let me quickly demonstrate what we mean by this. So I'm going to go ahead and print a label for the item and there's the barcode, right? But for example, if I made it a little bit more expensive and $32. See, at $32, it still prints a barcode. At $89, okay, so the total is going to be $53. Let's just put something heavier on the scale. So here it is. Now the scale is going to go um, over 100 bucks, right? And when we print, what happens is there's no barcode. The reason why you have no barcode is because in your barcode you only have four position points to express total price. And if the price goes outside of four position points, like for you know for this, because this is five position points, then the barcode doesn't get printed. To solve this, you have to change the barcode format that you have on your scale. And to do this, I'm going to reference this user manual on page 40 there's a barcode chart there it is so notice that type 0 has four p's and these are the prices and type 1 has five p's right so if we switch from 0 to 1 then we'll be able to print barcodes that are over a hundred dollars and under $100 because we'll just have that leading zero. Now to do this, I'm going to execute the procedure on page 39, this here, and switch from zero to one as is referred on page 40 of this user manual. All right, so let's just do this real quick. Take this off the scale, I'm gonna say one mode so five times, right? And then we press the print key. Um, set enter zero, yeah, press four key. Um, and print. Label enter one, yes. To program label barcode, press four key. There is, so see we're on zero and we need to be on one. Here it is, we're gonna print. And then we're just gonna hit set until we get out. Now, let's put something heavy on the scale. Let's say that the price per unit is 89.99, which puts us at about 500 bucks total. And now, you can see that you get the barcode. Uh, and 493.15 is embedded in there. And if you have something that's under, a hundred pound dollars like so let's say thirty two dollars you also get a barcode and you know that's embedded in there so basically that's how you switch um, from a hundred over a hundred dollar barcodes to or five position points for price or or four position points for the price and if you were not getting a barcode printed this is why